man. Hey. I mean, it's how a you long doing? time. Like yes, man. Here. How you doing, bro? Hey, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you, man. I'm good. Good to see you. Yeah, too. Like I was, uh, uh, I was just hoping that uh, this goes goes fast because I'm missing uh, in Croatia. I'm missing the food. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> Some pekka, right? <laughs> yes. You know, I heard a good stories about you in Croatia, over there with your family at Mario's house. Yes, it was yes, so nice. Yes. You yeah. you felt at home and that you already took your sandals off of your feet. Okay, I'm at home now. <laughs> yes, you know, yeah, like, if, if, if he eats for I feel in home, yeah, that's the way I do it in my home. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that's the way to do uh, it. And, and I think that's nice. That's a beautiful for the, the jiu-jitsu uh, community. If you feel home, wherever you go. So the same fun that I was in Croatia, I had uh, the same thing when I was in, in Germany too. So size, like people pick you up from the airport for every every single, like every like a coffee you go or every mat that, that seminar you do it. So for, it doesn't matter like if you, where do you go? So the, 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 ju, the Jiu Jitsu, the community, like the culture under the, yeah. the martial arts is the same. So you can go to Brazil, United States, uh, Europe or Asia, the culture is the same. So we'll like beyond the borders, welcome is the same culture, like the same, like uh, having fun and you know, very healthy and in the environment too. That's very, very true. And then so I was telling them that uh, last time that we saw each other, uh -huh. like physically, was exactly uh -huh. in Frankfurt. Yeah, that I was I, was, I flew in, and then you were flying out. And then we cross in the on the path that we look at each other like what I know him. I was a ghost. <laughs> yeah, it was, like, was like whoa. <laughs> and then we are both like a little you know rushy to catch the flies as as usual. And then it's very interesting that we can see each other again now in that technology world, but in Frankfurt one more time. Thank you, Mario, for that. Thank you, Zafir, for Thank the Rec Brain podcast. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Rec Brain. Podcast. <laughs> yes, thank you. Welcome. That's nice. That's good. And, thank uh, you, Professor Leo Vieira, to have you here. Uh, it's a huge, huge honor to have you. Um, um, please s tell us about how you started with Jiu Jitsu. Uh, I don't know. Like, my audio is good because I don't have those fancy headphones. I'm not in studio. We have vintage. Not. We have vintage. <laughs> Uh, even with my mats, which is my my jujitsu studio right now. <laughs> that <laughs> is nice. <laughs> if you get something, I can try to get some uh, headphones. But uh, I don't know if the audio is okay. It's good. No, it's perfect. Great. Perfect. Okay. So probably my kids are gonna run out sometimes, but it's they should. Oh, good. Just part of being home right now, right? <laughs> and uh, yeah, but the way you start jujitsu is uh, which very was. It was a long time ago. I wasn't there, like just a kid, you know. Uh, actually, like uh, my my whole education with my parents was very strict, you know. And I was an old brother from the the family with three brothers. And then my parents, my especially my father, they was put so much pressure on me because my brother was copying everything what he would do, what I'm doing. So the education, my home always was a strictly to a, be a good example because your brothers will copy you. And the opportunities that we had back in the time, like uh, with, uh, with we, have, we came from big families with my parents and cousins. So my cousins was, was doing like exactly what, the, what the, their parents was working. So my father was a, uh, we call it janitor from the building. So probably gonna be the same, the, the same job. So, and, and then when I started Jiu-Jitsu, I, I, I see my, then my perspective as a kid was just start something to not, to not be in home. Because I was locking home so much. My father was working the street. So I guess he was watching so much generation, kids' generation. And they see how the influence in being the street was changing so much, like the kids, and that he didn't like so much. And then he was locking me more. He was really like... Go to the go to school, come back to school, and stay home. I don't want you playing so much outside, special without my supervision. So just, was, I, 
Yeah. Yeah, if you don't mind, Leo, just to clarify a little bit for some people that have been watching us and make not sure, what Leo is mentioned also has been growing up in Ipanema, Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. And uh, that time also he's been a kid in no, Rio de Janeiro, be a big uh, cosmopolitan, big city on the beach. Yeah. So a lot of a lot of new tendencies over there. And then his father was very concerned about probably the future. I don't know my kids go in the wrong direction, you know what I mean? Because in the coast beach life, uh, eventually... Uh, Go yeah, my father, exactly, exactly. Like you see, like that's the point. Like um, I have a, the perspective of a kid, you know, but my father has the perspective that somebody has worked in this building and he, uh, and, and, the, and our building was pretty close to a, a bar that everybody was meeting, everybody was drinking, everybody using all kind of like, you know, uh, drugs or alcohol and parties and crazy. And my father was watching this every day because he worked in 35 days in this so the way he gonna he can control me was keep me inside the house. So and of course I was watching so much Bruce Lee movies and I love that. So when I start Jiu Jitsu, I thought I wanna be thrown punch. I actually I didn't know what Jiu Jitsu mean. I thought I thought it was a kung fu. My father too, because when he introduced to me, he said, "Hey, I will put you to training uh, kung fu." I said, "Okay, good. Watching Bruce Lee, that's what I want to do." <laughs> so my first. Years, the first week I got there, I was very disappointed because uh, there are no punching, no kicks. I said, man, when are we going to learn this? When are you going to learn to throw punches and kicks? You know? <clears throat> and the Jiu Jitsu, uh, back in the time, the perspective also was different. Like, we didn't see Jiu Jitsu as a sport. Today, you know, there are a lot of opportunities as a sport, as a business, as a lifestyle. That time was just like a martial arts fighting to be endeavoring to prove to other martial arts how efficient is the martial art. So people that training back in the time, there, there was like, I was just a kid, but Hachin and other guys, there was the one generation after that. Those guys was not training Jiu Jitsu because of their lifestyle or for fun, was to prove that martial arts was the best that any other martial arts. To the survive on the streets. Time of the conflict. Huh? <laughs> survive on the streets yeah, over there on yeah. the beach to be like, okay, at least I know that I cannot get be the one that be beat up. At least I can survive. <laughs> yeah. And I think that I, I start this way. So I got invited for my professor here, uh, Jacare, and then Romero opened this school here at I guess he was teaching for a long time over there, but it's kids, uh, I don't know. I think it was pretty hard to make to to make a kids class back in the time because Jiu-Jitsu was pretty tough as a for kids. It's not everyone was wants to, to to train in martial arts. Leo, do you remember the time that you start when your father took you guys over there? Yeah. You Rick, we, he, Yeah, I was Andrew? I went first. Yeah. I remember my first class was headlock escapes. Oh, see okay. that? That's cool. Like yeah, the way that, that you were helping your students. And all the kids, it was really challenging. It was not like uh, drills. I was like, okay, you headlock him. How to see how he escaped. And this girl, she was keeping arm bar me every time. I was very good at headlock. You know, we call, you go headlock yeah. as a bata de porteiro. My father is a porteiro. You know, so I have to be good at this. And I was pretty good at it. No strong kid, boy. And I was... Yeah. But this girl, she was like, you know, making the position perfectly, escaping arm body. And I was so eager. I don't want to get beat up for a girl. Oh you know, my I, gosh. Home, I didn't say anything to my parents. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what, what? Uh, but you remember I, which year? Uh, you know, I have, uh, I don't know exactly the year. I know I was like nine, nine years old. So, so I, I know, like, I don't remember like, okay. the time, like what's happening. So I, I remember like, because, oh, uh, my first, my first. Uh, because Jacare started in 1985 over there. 85, the yeah. 85. So that's why I have, I have, uh, I have, I'm from 76. So the reason I know it's, uh, okay. it's because my first uh, card, I mean, uh, uh, federation card. It's from uh, Ler. Uh, yeah, Niter for the for legal Niterians Jiu Jitsu. Exactly. So we have uh, we have uh, for eighty five, and then I have yeah. I my brother as a kid. 
So, and it was already yellow bell. So I ha have to be at least like a six month before. Yeah, something like for it. sure. You're, you're, you're in the right there in the first kids classes, students from America, yeah. Karaka, Vokant, because yeah. you started in yeah. 1984. And, and what promised is, was the opportunity to be doing Kung Fu, which was not really Kung Fu. My parents thought that I was doing Kung Fu in Thai. <laughs> Many years, many years. <laughs> and, but what keep me over there because, uh, you know, and the school had a lot of uh, good examples. So I was surrounded about really like healthy environment, like the people, it's such a nice people, you know. And the, the kids' class, I have a picture with Hachim. Hachim was <laughs> an instructor, Hachim, Trade, and, and Jacare, of course, and I was a kid. It's, Please uh, send me that picture because man, it's good. You have the door. picture, right? Did you see the picture I, before? I think yeah, I saw, but I have to like I change the phone with. I send you. I'm gonna send you a yeah. message if you have the picture. Uh, I'd yeah. like to have. So I have a we on the mats uh, and uh, but but what I'm saying is like uh, as a kid you make you choose a lot of things that you like you want to do you know and uh, the reason I have like the reason I. I am what I am today was because was a, I was a heaven. I have a lot of fun when I was on the mat as a size I was a kid. So that's why I never quit. I never give up. And I built all my friendship on the match. So I have instructors who give a good example, inspire me and what motivate me to keep going. Even when sometimes was tough, sometimes it was pretty hard because uh, competition as a kid, you also friends, he wants to go to the pool, he wants to go to the beach, he wants to do he wants to go to the nightclub and and normal like as a teenager and, and grow up in the, in the in Panama in the city, but the lifestyle behind the commitment, the 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 discipline was well, was hard, but at the same time was shared with those guys it was amazing because they, those guys was making like all these uh, 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 situation be light and nice and have fun. So I was the youngest traveling with those guys. They were shaking my head, you know, bullying like as a kid. I was getting bullied <laughs> so much. <laughs> it's, it's so nice. It sounds, man, it's very nice to listen to you, Leo. It's very nice because, especially to me, like you say those things uh, and then we uh, talk about because we're from the same year. Cities, same neighborhood, Ipanema, a lot of common friends. So as you say those things, in my mind here comes a flash, you know. I move like to, to like that back in the past. It's it's it, it's a interesting feeling, a nice uh -huh. feeling. Yeah, Bring a question, Zaf, make him um, yes uh, to review some secrets. Uh, one question. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Like we have like a we <laughs> probably like we. We have so many, like I say, stories and flash. Oh my so, God. Like, it, like it's so hard to, 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 to say because it's so much stuff. So if you make the right question, you're going you're gonna, to say You're going to have the right yeah. answer. That's right. <laughs> uh, I think uh, uh, a question what uh, be interesting for a lot of uh, listeners is uh, what you think about rule set, like IBJJF rule set or submission only or mm -hmm. also let's mention that Leo is yes. one of the coach of uh, Bushesha he's the Bushesha's coach so yeah. someone like Leo tells about the rules is very important point of view because Bushesha is one of one of the top greatest fighters also uh, Leo competitors. was before like yes. And he, yeah, you know, like, uh, I think uh, uh, I have been competing for a long time, you know, and uh, also I have a very good instructors. I have a very good professors that that was uh, very carry about about competition. So it was uh, also uh, in Jacare school also was uh, was the priority was a lot of competition, you know, and be and be with all those guys, you know, with a lot of experience in competing. And even the young guys were there, they, because we have a different generation, but even like, a, so I was the really young, I was a kid. And then they have the next generation, what was uh, Tachin, Jamelão, all those guys was the, and then they have the other guys. So those guys was, was really kept, they was really caring, taking care about the, the others. So I was feeling me always uh, 
with people, surround people to take care about rules, competition, diet. And then I, I learned pretty early how it's important it's the, the be, edu be educated uh, under this situation. And competition was something very, very like, it was not something fun for me. It never was a fun. I always was scary. I always was like, you know, very nervous. I was put so much pressure on me because the way I saw the jiu-jitsu in their time was something that I can't miss. I can't lose a tournament. I can't miss this state because I'm not a good, I, I was, uh, I was okay in the, in the school, but uh, I knew that uh, the school was not like, it was hard to do the phys, uh, 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 college and all the stuff or make a career on that. So I knew that jiu-jitsu was a way that I had that, that, that I'm going to establish my, my life. Once, uh, once I understand that jiu-jitsu became a very, pressure that became a very like a, something that you cannot miss you cannot mess with this so tournaments class everything became a very responsible for me and and the comp i was studying like every every tournament every different competition so i was studying a lot about the rules about what can i do what's the strategy behind it behind everything so and jiu-jitsu changed a lot of the rules so and every change i was studying so much myself with with athletes, with and then to how to how to be engaged, how to be there. Because as a kid, I was I remember Jacare driving for every competition in Gama Filho, you know, and always we went there. We did we have a very good competitors, but sometimes we, we like we win, sometimes we lose. And I saw how frustrated he was as a you know as almost got almost be the best thing. Or I was I saw I came back in the car as a kid. I was listening. He was complaining about oh we missed this or the rules wasn't. The rule is like, uh, it's so tough. Oh, there are a lot of politics be before. It was a lot of politics in, 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 in the rules, in the competition, you know, taking sides. Because Jiu-Jitsu was, uh, was built from teams. And of course, like, uh, it's a small community. So even like uh, the federation, the competition was part of some of the teams. So they, and everybody, like, uh, you know, decide to be a competition, be impossible. Like, it's hard. Like, you're gonna, always going to have some you know, somebody that get a benefit. And, and then I saw so many frustrations he's talking and I was like, put more pressure over myself to see, I cannot, you know, I don't want to let him frustrate. I don't, and so this make me go behind and study more about rules, you know, and, and, and when I became a, a professor, you know, so this make it was make it easy. So I already have a lot of skills and experience to how to study the rules. And, be, and and make something change to make to for they for making the athletes understand how it is how they can how they the, how they should think and to compete it's a different way that the, the way you roll the way you compete is totally different and 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 uh, today what I see uh, I have my a lot of my suggestions that I do so much with meetings here in in FGF. so the federation is more open. You know, so there are a lot of competition. They put uh, submissions only, but like all this is, it, it's I, I don't like it because you make a, a, all those tournaments. They make a submissions only, but when there are no submission, they they have to judge with a who score. Or who, so that's the same thing. Yeah. So that's if then it's the same thing. If you if you have to decide when when there are no submission, you already has your point. You already established that you're gonna you're gonna be look. Is something that's not submission rule, you yeah. know. So I think there are a lot of different rules, you know, nowadays. But I, those rules not really pushing the best of the athletes because uh, because uh, though first the the referees they are they're the same as the as the jujitsu. So you get used to to do something that you get it's your experience. So you go natural your brain you're gonna think in how jiu-jitsu work and who like you're gonna see that you'll be your perspective the other situation is that it's the the athletes you know like they you know we are we always gonna look for because we always gonna look at how to save energy that's natural over the brain that what he wants to save energy so if you give me a rules i want to find the, the easy way to win and to be survive on that, that tournament you know, so the rules, it uh, uh, helps, so, so sometimes helps more the person who, who like, who's stalling more than, than, the, than, than pushing some of the rules. Yeah. And IBGGF, as in Jiu-Jitsu, they, they change a lot of the rules. 
So we had a we, we had a lot of experience in the how it's a it's a how how we should how we should move because uh, we used to have a heel hooks before we used to have a, you know like even as a kid like a slam was okay so heel hooks knee bar so all these I haven't been doing before you know it's not something new so people that are new in jiu jitsu in the industry they think that's the new style of jiu jitsu or the martial arts but it, it's not you know so it's it's haven't been already a long time. The reason that we don't do it anymore was because of the commitment and the discipline behind the sport is so so strong. So athlete was getting uh, injury pretty bad, and you don't want to injury a bushesha in one competition. And you don't have him competing the next tournament. That's bad for the sport. So the reason the rules were changed was the side effect that was happening in the competition before. They was look okay. So we have more injury. In the, because this rules, so let's change these rules. Oh, we have the fight make. So and that was the change that we made. So what I think, and then if you ask, oh, what rules that you think that you want to do? I have a very crazy idea as a rules, uh, and I want to do a competition with that. So I want to take care. I want to make. A, I want to make more simple, easy to judge. The, the referee not make the decisions. The decision has to be, so my, my idea to the, the, what rules should be, it's a mix between the big, uh, some martial arts. I, I look, I look, I take the Jiu Jitsu, I see what's the problem in Jiu Jitsu. Let's see the other martial arts, how they do. And then I, I saw wrestling, I saw judo, I saw different martial arts, what they do that works, which, which is not working in our uh, competitions. And then uh, I, I, I should change the, uh, the rules. I like, I take it out. For me, I, like to, I would like to take it out the take it downs and sweep. No score points for those. So I think this is going to make a big difference. Because, um, sure. and then like uh, the score points will be just for side, mount, and back. So the side so, mount, not guard passing points. Exactly. Like so I, because in jiu-jitsu nowadays we have a mount, we have a, we have a, the points we have, we have points for actions. So it, it's yeah. not like hooks and mount, there are no questions. So you know when it's points, but it's not every side control, it's points. Because, oh, there's a side control, but it wasn't passed. So this is very confused, you yeah. know. And, and this makes the, the referee always be one step behind to judge if that side control was a pass or was just a natural move that landed in the side control. But in the other perspective, I don't care. If you, if you be able in being the person side control, it's a position that you have a better position than then, then I, like, it doesn't matter. It has to be points anyways, you know? And I make some uh, dynamics of uh, some uh, fights in the inside in how the competition, not in competition, uh, in the school between athletes. I take the points from the taking downs and the sweeps, and I make the training, you know. And the and the and the dynamic of the fight is pretty good because taking downs and sweep it's part of the being the engaged. dynamic of the, the exactly. Engagement. And also, like if I'm losing, if I I have to take somebody down if I have if I want to be on top, okay. Mm -hmm. And if I losing so much energy to pass the guard, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pass the guard. I'm gonna jump straight to the kimura, to the guillotine, to footlock. I'm gonna go straight to the submission. But the reason people doesn't wanna go for submission from the top because they have the they risk can be on the bottom, the sweep, and be sweep. The advantage. And then the and that's why now they the to fight on the bottom, you have a more benefit. Because uh, you fight for points, and you, fight, you have a lot of points for a lot of options for points, a lot of options for submissions. So it means that you have a double option for advantage. If you're on top, you only have a, you only have options to pass because you have submission. But if your submission wasn't like true, so you're giving the person points. So it's interesting, interesting format. So there'll be no yeah, points but I for think there's some down, tricks no points for sweeps. That didn't change the they didn't change the fundamental of the martial art. The fundamental of the jiu-jitsu martial art was about the like, uh, was busy in street. So in self-defense, you know, the position has to be carried to to be having like a, 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 a situation. Yeah, increasing control. Yeah, exactly. And uh, but 
I think like uh, you, you still like if you do this, some of those, it's a big change. But also like uh, I, I guess you're gonna see when I make those uh, those uh, 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 sparring the academy, people compete so much. It's very similar as a uh, ADCC, very similar as a uh, you know uh, Renato Canuto, you know. So that's the because. Uh, you don't care like you be on top. You want to pass, but if you're wasting so much of your time to pass, you want to jump and you want to make the opportunity to go to the submission. So yeah, as you, you said very well, the, the as you said very well, the athletes, yeah, natural. The more experience that you become over there, your brain is always looking to more efficient. Yes, exactly. So you're looking to the the way that you're gonna have some efficiency to win the match. Yeah. Not installing, not about that, but the efficiency. So if you, you have very hard time to do any guard passing, okay, you go for some shooting, some submission, and eventually you're going to be on the bottom, and then eventually you can work some different strategy from the bottom, but not have the, collect the commitment, and then, I don't know, I need, if I'm on top, I need to pass to earn those points. Yeah, it's it's very interesting. Yeah, uh, yeah, like because uh, the whole idea is to make the 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 fight should be decided by the fighters. You want more, that they more freedom, and that's what I suggest to them all the time. Make the fight. If the fight is tied, okay. So who score the last point? Give the give the victory to him. Don't make the referee decide. That okay. makes a lot of conflict between teams, between athletes and and, and referees. So yeah. make them decide, make a system that okay, or it's uh, but sometimes you give the point to the last guy, it's not fair. Yeah, but it's not fair also the referee decide who's who wins, you know. So at least we already know who's winning, who's losing. Okay, so give the give the decision by who have the biggest, highest point. So it's a four point from the mount, or two point taken down, two sweep, it's four four. But the guy who have a four that for, as a mount, he ha, he get a better, better opportunity to, he have a position that, like, by make a system that, that make, take all the fights that draw or tie, and then, and then they, he decide, the, fight, the fighters will be able to decide the match, not the, the referees. Because uh, well, that the conflict nowadays we have is the, it's, it's the referees, teams and athletes so the conflict between because athletes wants to win the tournament teams wants to win the tournament that are that's so much emotional behind you know and you know and make us that make a lot of conflict between people without reasons are you in uh, contact with the ibjjf for example about uh, rule changings and stuff yeah yeah they, yeah they, we always have a talk they have a, they make some meetings with uh, with uh, athletes with uh, instructors with uh, teams and uh, we always have a meeting so i understand the position of them they have they're like uh, it's a very traditional uh, federation they are very they have been doing this for a long time so every small change can be a big impact so i understand like this like the how how the situ how their situation it, it's it is but they listen sometimes they make they make some change but yeah so i think and that's what the, the whole conversation it's it's making the fight be decided by the athletes make easy to be the referee so i think everybody I agrees with you on that yeah it's easy we can be the referees it's easy like uh people can see because uh for because of taking downs i have to go to the ground top so it's no no question today anymore but sweep and pass it's a an advantage it's a very it's a it's decided by your perspective we have a three referees it's three different perspectives we have a two thousand people watching outside it'll be two thousand perspective when mount no it's a two thousand same perspective one perspective he mount yeah, clear, mount. Very clear. Yeah. hooks yeah. hooks but side control like everybody can say, no, it was a pass. No, it was not. It was from total God. He didn't have God. No, he didn't have the hook. It, there would be a conflict. And then what you see, you know, like every and then everybody has a rights because if you if you if you let and then best the best argument we win, you know, because it's a it'll be a perspective. So if you ask the athlete, he's gonna say the reason I I pull God 
uh, was in total guard. I just flipped, and there he was in my side control. There, there's no guard. They're not supposed to be poor. If you ask to the other guy, I say, no, I was connected to the guard, the leg drag, that's why he don't. Yeah, so everybody who has a point and everybody has a, has a, has a, it's right. It's, there's no, nobody wrong, you know? Mm-hmm. So those are, those, those are situation, it's a, it's the problem. When both athletes go outside, so the, the rule said, if I push my opponent outside, I get penalty. The same time say, if I step back, I get penalty. So in this situation, who's going to get penalty? Who step yeah. back or who pushes so, up? <laughs> yeah, so the referee decides. You know, they say the referee is going to make the decision. You know? Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> but if you go to other martial arts, like in judo, they, they don't care. Whatever step outside, like wrestling, the same thing. Whatever step outside, mm. I get penalty. Step oh, but I don't want to make the fight be a sumo. I don't care. Like a push. If, if big guys, they push each other. It's not natural. They're going to push each other no matter what. You know, they don't care. The problem, they're going to take the risk to see who's going to, would be a lottery, who's going to take the points, who's going to be more actor, you know? So are you pushing or are you stepping back? You know? Yeah, that's nice, nice view. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Um, another thing uh, is uh, what you think about like uh, politics, about affiliations and <clears throat> broke up relationships and yeah i think as a relationship it didn't break like you know with a uh, that are politics you know and i i think the politics it's uh, it's a it's a it's a totally uh like stupid i don't think you should be politic i think is you should be friends and should be uh, you and understand you know i think the politics behind i think it's it's a you no know, doesn't make sense for me Uh, friendship like doesn't change. So we all used to be the same time, like a team, Hachinho, Nai, Comprido. I have a lot of, and, and of course, today we're not in the same team, but uh, the friendship's the same. So the feeling that I have for Hachinho, it's it's the same as a, as a before, you know? So there's nothing that he, the only thing he can do to hurt this is if he hurt me personally. If it's something that no way, which, which <laughs> never, which never happens. As I but I say, like uh, the friendship is something different than the politics. I think the politics behind it is when people start putting money in some stuff and they getting anxiety and to and then try to control or own people or own students, own place or own schools, and then 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 became a problem because. You know, then, but the truth, they never be a friend. It was just business, it was just opportunities. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, that's, but like, I have, a, I have a lot of friends that people that is my team, people was not on my team. And I have a people that I, I uh, like, I have a problems that even inside my team, sometimes I have people that was, oh my God, why, why he thinking that way, you know? But I, uh, The way I do it, for me, it's very, it's very, it's, I think there are levels between the, that are, when friendship, like I try to be f- friends of all my, all my students, all my affiliation. For me, it's pretty easy to see the way, the way it is for me is natural. So the same way that I take care of my family, the way that are my family is, it's organized as a, as a father, my wife, as a, as a wife, my kids as a kids is the same with their relationship they're organized the respect the commitment the same uh, fundamentals of this relationship to keep us a family together is the same that i do in my school so i i'm the i'm the i'm the i'm the man in the, my school i my my position is to take care of my school you know so my professors is the wife so they have to take care of the, their kids and i have to take care of them my wife my my instructors so the and so when the, this relationship is the same thing and then i make this same thing for the of my organization the way i take care of my affiliations is the same i'm i'm the one responsible i'm the team that is responsible i'm the man of the house so i i can i make the decision but I listen 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 to them I have to listen to them because uh, they're the one that's going to suffer beside me. If I make a wrong decision, my wife will be on my side, you know, like a surfer. So that's why it, the argument, it's important. So we're going to argue, we're going to, but the responsibility, the decision will be over me because, because of the, the power of the organization that, 
So, and then I do, it's easy, it's, for me, it's very natural. So I don't, and the way that I see the friendship, the same too, my kids, they, like when they grow up and they decide to go and they have to go, so they're going to be their own. So they not belongs to me anymore. We be friends, we be a father and son, but they, I not like now they have a responsibility to do whatever they want. So it be their life, their decision, if whatever he decides to do it, you know. So that's the, my my vision. So the same as my students and my athletes and my affiliations. So I give them my best right now, but I cannot decide what they're gonna do in the future. If they decide to be by their own, which is some of the other students did before, it's okay. It's fine. I don't see as a, oh, like, no, I don't see this, you know? And then I understand some people does, does like think a different way, but, and I, and I, I had this, uh, when my first, my first uh, frustration with, with, uh, as a professor, with a student break, break so much in my heart, I was very like, a, you know, I felt so much, you know, but also I understand about how that, how that, how this is important. It's like God gave us the free will for everyone. So why are you going to control somebody else? If they, I need to respect and understand the way he see things. And that's, that's uh, freedom going to even keep us more even close. Maybe not close as a working as a business, because sometimes the way you see is a different than people see it. But you guys are still working together. You guys can be, yeah, the friendship goes beside, beside of this. So that's why for me, the way I see uh, affiliation is the same. I take care of my, my school. The same, the way that I take care of my school is the same that I take care of my home, you know? So, and I push them to, they understand that they're each one, how they how they the important to be, to be this is not be a cell, but it's to take care of somebody else, to take care of the, you know, each other. Very well, well said, very well, yeah. well said. <clears throat> Thank you. And this became, well, like all this became from a lot of uh, like, like experience. Like uh, we was uh, oh, yeah. the biggest team in the world as uh, before it was Jacare and the master and then Alliance. We became like, we became uh, very strong and very good and very organized. When breaks and then we make a brasa was a like Hachinho and I like well Cumprido, uh, Felipe, Chico, Rico, Muzi was a lot of try people, young guys with uh, like a learning experience to how to manage the team, how to do, how to develop, but with the dreams to say, okay, so let's do something but different than we we had experience before. The only we didn't know where we're gonna do or what we're gonna build. The only the only thing we knew and it's like we knew it what we don't want to be, you know, what kind of like, but, I, but I, it was a very, and I think that's the point. Like, we, you know, I think at that time was tough, but everybody learned, like allies learn and they changed the way they, they, they thinking right now. So even when we was Braza, like we break, when Braza breaks also both, everybody learned so much, you know, but a lot of the, the, the true friendship, the everybody, like a lot of people, even like not working together, they still connected. They still talking in respect. So we didn't lose the respect. We didn't lose like the, the friendship because uh, because this was this was uh, this was this was this was real. If people turn your head, turn their face from yours, because they never give. It was always about opportunity. It was all, was always about being selfish. They were not really care about you, you know. So the people who turn the back to you. After was because they they wasn't there for you. It wasn't there for something that uh, that you was giving to them. You know, that's why like I'm very uh, grateful to meet all those guys. You know, like and and I, and Hachin is one of the guys that I had one of the best experience competing together. And we sh and we going we sharing like a purple belt. We closing the bracket. Yeah. You know, like we close the bracket. You know, and also we had a pretty tough, one of the deepest, like a heartbreak for me was when the Alliance make us compete in each other to decide who's going to be uh, team A and B. And, and no reason, because, yeah. because only two guys in the bracket, why we have to fight? Why you have to compete? You know, yeah, and I get, yeah. and I get, you know, I was young, I get, I let, I let, and I, and I feel so sorry because I let people, you know, put like uh, inflame, like, 
making me flame and making me change their, my mind back in that time. And I like it was like, a, and after that, that was pretty deep for me. It was pretty hard because I say, man, why, why all this happened? You know, and and I was like, the the luckiest was because uh, the the nice was like a. Uh, didn't change, didn't change the way he sees. Didn't Absolutely change the, right. because, because I was, I was, uh, for me, it was pretty, it was pretty tough. But, uh, you know, sometimes a young kids, you don't, you really, you don't really even think. So you let so much influence tell you what to do. And then after you realize you had experience, you realize, but, uh, you know, and, uh, and I say, but did, the reason is didn't change because this guy, you know, never like had those situations change his attitude, you know, and uh, and then and then like for me, like it's a, it's a, make me understand so much, you know, like the life is like this, like uh, you you go through a lot of stuff or you change who you are, you know, you change a lot of things. That's why I very grateful for everything that all the experience and good and bad because uh, change me and and shape me to be and think the way that that, that i'm thinking right now excellent definitely i can tell you from jiu-jitsu community you don't know i see it. Uh, how when it was mentioned with mario and zaf and mario was mentioned about that to you over there in you know in croatia that's uh -huh. the, the t-shirt over there that you yeah. yeah and then he was mentioned your name I said Leo Vieira and then, and then he asked me do you know here I said of course I know here <laughs> and then we we made the whatsapp for you everything uh, he and, was my old brother you know those old brother you know they carry on the match they take you to the nightclub they teach you good <laughs> and bad things yes <laughs> 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 a little <laughs> seems like a good this, teacher. It's a little I was, bit a, I was a white belt, a yellow belt. Yeah. Like, and then Hachi was there the teaching me. Yeah. And then yeah. I became purple belt, and then like that's what the like for me was like we're gonna compete in the same bracket. And then, yeah, and then we win the final over there and then how old you were back then? I I think it was a I don't know, like we I, are five I, years old. I, I mean five I years old. I think I made the semi-final, I think I made the semi-final with Chinguinha. And, and Hachinho closed the bracket mm -hmm. on the side, and then we win. No, so no, we no, 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 I see the purple belt. I, I, I won by Chinguinha the, in the same final. You won over... In fact, that was the, the Mameluke tournament. Now, that was, I think, was the concern yeah, of the like, first I, I Brazilian know, like, national. Maybe probably you're going to remember that. I'm pretty yeah. bad at this. You know, yeah, like, I, was, but, uh, I, I remember that the one by Chinguinha, they won... He won by another person that I just forgot, and then we won the finals. And that was your first tournament as a purple belt, and that was my last tournament as a purple belt. Exactly, exactly, yeah. We and closed then, the bracket, and we then... We the bracket, and then, like... Which year? Ah, that was 1993. 1993. To the Mameluke tournament. Yeah, but those are, the this was like what? It was considered as a Brazilian national? Yeah, like but it was, was the, considered the first Brazilian national. Yeah. Uh, not official, and that comes the official Brazilian yeah. national in 1994. Okay, okay. The first one. And then the first awards was 1996. That was not a gym, it was country mm -hmm. idea, you know, like, uh, and of course, Brazil was the, the world champion. Mm -hmm. But what I would say over there, my thought that here, uh, as being a global consultant, I travel a lot as being dependent in, in consultant in Jiu-Jitsu, we met to the, in the airport over here in Frankfurt. Uh -huh. It's amazing to me that every time, you know, if so many people that we already met in Jiu-Jitsu that you, like, you know, so, so many different names that we mention sometimes in your clinic, in my clinics or in my classes, and they look, ah, you know him? I say, yeah, I know him very well. Uh, he's a great person. One of the names that everybody says always great things about you, Leo. Uh, you know, your name is very, very well known in terms of the creativity, the discipline, the respect. So every, everything that you mention today here, in your evolving from the kid as an athlete, as a coach, and then has been there in charge of the checkmate, 
team. One thing that I heard a lot is about that, you know, your your etiquettes, your etiquettes, your respect, and then your your passion in what you're doing. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's good to know because sometimes, like I say, like we see when I I, I see when I when I travel and uh, and of course it's it's uh, you expect because you already get invited, so you you expect people to you you know they say good, but when when people talk this way, it's it's really nice to 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 hear. But I, that's it. But like I told, I have a I was a blessed kid to be in the in a really good uh, spot surround with a good athletes and good like really rumble people that you know taking care and help us to to achieve all our goals under a pretty healthy and fun environment a lot of bullies you know but <laughs> yeah, we, we, <laughs> at that time we didn't have the, we didn't know the word you know at that time we, we didn't know what yeah, that means exactly, so, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's so what I you cannot use some terminology that you use today for back in that time. So that's we just it was let it go. Fun. It was fun. It was fun. Oh, bullies, yes. you know? It was a nice bully. People, because today the bully, the word bully is so strong, right? So like a traumatic. <laughs> so back that was not was like it was like a joke that you do with friends and then make even like a, people be resilient and be friends. Absolutely. You know? like, be way more connect. When I was a white belt, like around when I started, I was asking my old instructor, like, hey, man, who's the guy who looking up to? And he was like, Leo Zinho. <laughs> and then he's like, he's a killer. And I was like, oh, man, should be like looking like Hulk. Then I go home, Googled it or YouTube, check the fights. And I'm like, the smaller guy? <laughs> <laughs> I got this look so much inside. People go to my academy, they look, I want to train Jiu Jitsu. I say, then I start talking, the conversation. But the thing I can see when they go, they always look to the tall guys. They always, when you student, they always go to Bushensha. Hey, the professor, I almost got, no, 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 the professor is that guy over there. And they walk to me, I can say, disappointed, you know, like look at me and, oh. Okay, yeah, I will not train you, Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah. so cool, man. So, anyway, so, man, so nice, so nice to see you, see you here. And, yeah, man, as soon as things gone, definitely I'm going to stop by to visit over there for you, for you can choke me more times. <laughs> Yeah, you have, to come, you have to come here to visit the school. Everybody, sure. everybody knows you're expecting. Like, uh, where you what what uh, where are you based now? You traveling, but where do you? you I'm a, man. I'm a nomad. I have no base <laughs> at all. It's, it's still I still have a, like their consultant over there to Octagon Dallas, but the head coach, it's Rafael Lange that he's doing phenomenal uh -huh. job over there. Uh -huh. My daughter lives in the Dolomites over there, so uh -huh. that's the reason I travel back and forth a lot. And then I'm in that transition to be, uh, to be more permanently in Europe. Mm -hmm. So that's I'm looking to be in there. And then be, you know, you Europe, you're like, like a gypsy. Yeah, but you know, but we need this, like, you know, otherwise Jiu Jitsu was be all in Brazil, and then Jiu Jitsu changed Brazil to US because of the you know, and has to be going to to Europe so much, you know. So then of course, like if you, but uh, Europe, it's a it's a lot of a lot of countries. So that are uh, every country that are one tiny and one one uh, speedy to learn and develop the sport. But uh, I guess that like like I see like all in all the numbers in the last Europe competition, and I was by myself. I travel so much to Europe sometimes. I see how like how how it's. In the jiu jitsu sports is growing so much. Yeah, so know? much so exponential. It, we need people like this. It's a, you know, like, with this, like, missionary that goes to spread the, like the jiu jitsu words, you know, and, 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 and tell people and show people what the good jiu jitsu are. Because, uh, you know, it's a, it's a really important people, like, uh, what you do for, for the correct way to spread the jiu jitsu. Otherwise, we just lose you. Yeah. 
whatever, whatever, like we are people just show up who can or who can go to those occasions. So it's really nice. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for the words. Yeah. yeah. It's Thanks a lot. <laughs> really nice to have him here. Also, maybe in the future, when you're around, uh -huh. we, we hook you also up for... We will yeah, pick also. you up from the airport. No problem. <laughs> 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 you, know, you know, but that's why, like, uh, you know, something like, usually I like to, I just, I, I like to explore the place. I like to go by myself, explore the place. And then, and then, like, when I go, I say, no, don't want me to pick me up. So I go, I take the train, especially here, it's so easy, the connections, the train, and go to the oh, yes. city. So it's, and I like to see the, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> But it's true, when, when we were, like, in the summer camp, I was asking uh, Damir um, Shadana, the instructor in Zadar, um, hey, should I, should we pick up oh, Leo? Me. <laughs> and Leo said like, no, no, no. Um, he said he's coming by himself. I'm like, but how is gonna come? Oh, he's gonna take the boat. And then he <laughs> took like cool. a little boat uh, to cross oh. like uh, over to our park. I just told them like uh, uh, in the summer when I was asking Damir oh. to pick you up, and you said no, no, I'm coming by myself, and you took the little boat. And, and every like, yeah. yeah, and every day I was doing a different way. One I go around the channel, the other one I cross the bridge. Other one I take the boat. <laughs> well that's Explore. a lot of experience that's a lot of experience man that's important i like to yeah like i grew up in rio de janeiro it was a tourist place you know and i knew that the difference between tourist place and locals place and locals place most of the time have a better quality and, uh, and very cheap you know and then i guess that all those those tourist place and for me it was like okay i just i don't want to be a tourist I want to, of course, you want to go to a tourist place because you have to go to see it. But what I really love is like um, the, all the place has their own like culture, their own like local place. Hey, I want to go to street market. I want to go <laughs> see the how, how the local live, where they shopping, what they eat, what the local restaurant it is like. So that was one of our, always like my, <clears throat> uh, I interested in That's why I travel. I like to to one couple of days and make the tourist, but most of the time it's uh, enjoy the local place, you know, yeah. yeah and been, everywhere, every place. That's absolutely true. That's one of uh, the positive side that uh, a lot of times people ask, ah, you travel so much, do you have any time to at least, you know, to get to know the place? I say, yeah, I always try to, <laughs> You know, at least we can just to put you whatever with the access with some locals like you guys here. So we really can cut all those uh, ways to Google and then uh, get the info for some locals like you guys are going straight to the marketplaces mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. Feel as a local. Yeah, yeah. That's important. He knows the city better than me now. <laughs> After four weeks <laughs> by walking and... He knows all the lakes, all the rivers. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. when, when, when the first time when you were here, uh, I was trying to explain him a place in Frankfurt, and he was like, "Yeah, yeah, I know this place. It's right over there." And I was like, "Okay, okay you know already Frankfurt." <laughs> Stick there. The trains, the subways helps. Yeah, hopefully the sh uh, the Corona chaos will be over soon, so you will have your summer camp this year, right? Uh I don't, I don't think so. Uh, I don't know, like, we de everything depends about how it's going to be the situation. Uh, I know one of the, one of the, the camp, we already canceled, uh, mm. the one in Spain. But, you know, like, we see for the other, the other ones that were in July and August. So it's depending how the, how the local uh, schools, the community will, we react over the situation because even after the situation under control, we still have the 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 like the people still be be would be like scary and how like it would be hard. It would be not easy to. I think it, that it, the strategy behind reopening the schools has to be very careful too because uh, the people that are in the target they still in the target. So it'll be the second wave. So that's what I think. So I have my father who lives here. In the United States, too. He has a cancer. He's, he had lung cancer, making treatment. He's really locked down. And it was, sometimes we see each other because we locked down together. 
But once they reopen, I'm going to connect with people. My kids will connect with the other kids. So we're not going to connect mm -hmm. with them anymore because uh, so those people will be at the time for, for at least until they get a vaccine. So they will be the target for a long time. So and mm -hmm. to, I, I, I'm planning to do it to go, but uh, we have to see how things are going to, we're going to be working locally here but also locally in those places that we're supposed to do the camps, how people react, how the airport, how this, you know, all the health organizations are going to allow the how people you react over those uh, uh, rules. Yeah, it's very strange times. Yeah, definitely. Bro, day by day. Something that nobody you get before. Yeah. Yes, so... Thanks a lot to have you on. Welcome. Um, thanks. Thanks so much, guys. Really nice to you. see you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you yeah. so much. Dude. Thank you so much. So nice I hope that next will be on the mat, Hachio. Oh yes, please. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm. It's like I'm building a podcast in my academy. So before before this happened, I was I would buy the equipment. I was putting a podcast over there because it was cool. the way that I was pushing some for the athletes. I was. Before all this situation happened, I was there to say, Bushesha, you have to do this because, uh, you know, people see Bushesha, the perspective of people see Bushesha, just a step on the mat competing. So you have to share feelings, you have to share Absolutely. what, what, like what, is, what yeah. yeah, like, because uh, one day you stop, well, who's going to be the next Bushesha? So they need to understand how your mind works for we find another Bushesha. So, and I have uh, the podcast, so I hope the next, uh, if you will have, if all we have uh, opportunity, so like we get on the mat and do it again. If you're not in my mat, we will be, we be in the rack brains. So we're gonna be yeah. go over there too. No, absolutely, I, absolutely. You got the name of the podcast already? Yes, right. No, no, my podcast. No, yes. no, no, no. Yeah. We just, we be just like on the mat interview. We just love be in chat. <laughs> it's just like on my students. I want to my students. Okay, cool. I was making, I was telling Bushesha to do it, but if I do it, Bushesha would be so funny, you know, because it'd be Leozinho and Bushesha, you know, it's a, that are, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that are joke, that are, that are two, that are a band. I used to have like two guys who play, who, who sing of tank, they're very famous, Claudinho and Bushesha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bushesha, I know those guys. And I, like, they're going to be like, I'm making a lot of jokes. Well, they, they love the opportunity to make jokes with me. So I don't want I don't want to give them this uh, too problem. easy. You don't have the name, but probably be some, something that doesn't take my name on it. That's cool. Awesome. Yeah, really great. Uh, I'm sure we uh, will stay uh, keep in touch. Yeah, stay in touch. We can do that yeah. again. Stay healthy. Yeah. Uh, greetings to your fam family. All the best to uh, to your dad. Yeah. Wish him Thanks. the best. All the Absolutely. prayers, um, yeah, links to Leo Vieira's Instagram and uh, in the school, yeah, we will put everything the school, in the Everything will be in the link below. Thanks for the Thank legend. You, thanks, guys. thanks so much. It's, uh, it, uh, it's very nice. It's very, like, uh, good to have people like you guys doing this, you know. So it's really important to the industry, to the jiu-jitsu community. Was well, something that I was talking yesterday with you, Jack. I was saying, Jack, uh, because he said I was a pretty concerned about what what I'm gonna do first interview. Why did you not say yeah? But uh, don't try, don't expect to do the best or be the perfect. Just do your best. Don't That's if you expecting make something perfect. So oh, like you not we're not even gonna start and then and then we don't make it. So just do it and then you're gonna learn. And that's like a. Like, uh, nobody's gonna step into on the mat to be a black belt. They decided for the white belt. And there will be a, 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 over a lot of mistakes gonna make who the, the, a good black belt. So don't don't worry. So and that's it. So that's why it's a very great, uh, good to have you guys and opportunity to be talking with Hachinho. It's so nice. Thank you so much, Leon. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, it's so nice, man. All the best for you and your family, man. Yeah. Thank you guys. Too. Be safe and be healthy. Have a great day, Master. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.